Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today's tutorial is how to insert data from Oracle Apex collection. In my last video, I showed how to create Oracle Apex collection. This is the video Oracle Apex collection tutorial part on. If you missed this tutorial, you can check the video and I will give the link in the description box here I can see the item name and quantity to field I am giving here the name pencil and quantity is 23 now add product I can see the product is pencil is my report but this data is not stored in my table here the table is item details collection is blank now i will insert this data from collection to the table here i will create a button submit data submit data from collection and position is next submit data from collection and here the appearance portion on the hot options submit data from collection now i will write a procedure for inserting data from collection to the table right click on the button create dynamic action click on the show and select it execute server side code uh, now create the procedure create or replace procedure at correction data to table is begin here I create a for loop for I in I select here the C001 it's my name I can see here two column item name and quantity this is the c001 and quantity is n001 so 1001 is quantity my table apex <coughs> item details coll collections c01 item name and item quantity n01 from apex collection and my collection name is collection name is add product now in the 
loop first i'll write a select statement select npl max my primary key item id comma 0 plus on into v item id from item details collection variable this is number variable now insert into my table name item details collection and first column is item id second column is item name Third column is item quantity. Now I'll give the reference item ID from my variables. And I dot item name. and i dot quantity okay code is ready now go to the sql command execute the code procedure created now take the procedure name call the procedure from the apex front end Now I give the success message Now create another action and action type is execute javascript code and the code is apex.message.show success and message is data successfully inserted save and run
uh, here I can see two of my items in the collection pen 100 quantity and pencil it is 23 quantity and check my table data there is no data now click from the submit data from collection data successfully inserted now check my table yes thank you viewers please subscribe my channel like and share for the next video in my next video i'll show how to update the collection data thank you so much